Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a mosaic blur intro to a video clip in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.1. Go to the edit window in your software. Hold Ctrl and press I to insert a media file to your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside the media pool master bin, find the thumbnail for the video clip that you have inserted. Drag this to the start of your edit timeline. Ensure that your red playhead is positioned at the very first frame of your video clip. Go to Effects Library. Underneath Open Effects and in Filters, go to Mosaic Blur in Resolve Effects Blur. Drag this to your video clip. Go to Inspector and Open Effects. As long as the pixel frequency is above zero, decreasing this value will increase the size of the pixels which appear on screen. Increasing the smooth strength blurs the pixels. Increasing the global blend value decreases the solid color look within each pixel frame. The closer to one this value is, the more transparent the pixel frame will be on screen. Click on the circular arrow icon to reset all keyframes on your icon for a particular property at any time. I'm going to change the pixel frequency here from 20 to 10. And ensure that the keyframe diamond for this property is selected. My intention is for the mosaic blur transition to last for 3 seconds at the start of my video clip. Drag the red playhead on your timeline to the point on your video where you want the motion blur effect to end. In this case here in my project, I will drag this to the 3 second mark. Select the keyframe diamond for pixel frequency. And change the pixel frequency to 400. If I zoom into my video clip using an option above the preview window, to 200 we can see that the content of my video is still pixelated. At the end of this mosaic blur transition, I wish for the pixelated effect to disappear and for the visual content to appear much smoother. Shift the red playhead on your timeline forward by one frame by holding in K and tapping L. Under Open Effects again, select the keyframe for pixel frequency and change the value to zero. And now the video clip's original appearance is restored. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.